Today we are starting a challenge that I have been wanting to take on for so stinking long. Oh, today you guys, we are going to be starting the Super Sim Challenge. That's right, we are hopping into The Sims 4 and we are going to be trying to make a Super Sim. Now, if you guys don't know what this challenge is, let me explain really quickly what we're trying to accomplish. So, basically, for the Super Sim Challenge, you want to take one single Sim and you can start from any age that you want. You could start young adult, you could start infant, you could start toddler and you want to make the most overpowered sim so that means completing all the careers all the aspirations maxing out all the skills getting all the university degrees getting to the highest form of a cult that you can so if you become a vampire you want to get like all the highest perks for vampire and so on and i think that's everything I, I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Let me just go through it. Aspirations, skills, careers, universities. Oh, and reward traits. I did forget something. You also want to buy all the reward traits and gain all of the perks and traits that come from uh, just playing the game naturally. There's a couple other challenges that we can throw in, such as getting gold at all the parties and completing all the in-game achievements, things like that. So, and you know, completing all the collections. I am probably going to be doing those, but that it makes it kind of more of an extreme super sim challenge. So we're just gonna play this challenge to try to accomplish everything in The Sims 4. Now, this challenge was created by The Sim Supply, and I'm gonna be taking quite a bit of inspiration as I play my own challenge from James who is the inventor of the challenge and has a very amazing YouTube series like a long super sim YouTube series so I'll link that down in the description box below I'm sure a lot of you guys if you watch sims content know who James is already but if you don't go show the series some love because I have been binge watching it and it's kind of what inspired me to want to make my own series now, with that being said, there is a tracker that we can use to track our progress. Again, this was made by James, the Sim Supply, uh, James Turner, Super Sim creator. And this thing is incredible. So I am also going to be taking inspiration and using his tracker to track my progress. And I also actually made an Excel spreadsheet uh, with a separate tracker that kind of tracks more everything as we go and some other odd things. So we might be using that too, but this is going to be the main tracker that we use. So for my super sim, we are going to be starting from the infant stage. I want to go all the way from the beginning and work all the way up through adult. You can tick off packs that you don't have, but I'm going to keep them all uh, on just because I do plan to get all of them eventually. And sorry, this is so jabbery at the beginning, but there's a lot to cover so that you guys understand what we're trying to accomplish with this challenge. So again, going through, you can filter through, you know, the toddler skills and the child aspirations, child traits, child skills. And then as you get through adults here, you can go into the careers and the occults. So James really covered everything with this tracker. It's amazing. The only thing, if he ever saw this video, which I, I don't know if he ever would, but it would be so cool if he did. One thing that would make me so happy is if he did add collections and if he did add what, uh, the parties. So you could like get gold level at the parties. Um, those would be my two like please add to the tracker so like people can really max out as much as they want to But yeah, we are going to be starting here with our infant So let me introduce the family to you guys of who our super sim is gonna be And this tracker is going to be popping up as you can see uh, throughout the series We're gonna be checking things off similar to how james does in his series for infants starting out with the infant stage It is pretty much all milestones so we are going to be accomplishing the milestones throughout this series and to complete the infant stage of the super sim challenge we're going to be doing all of the milestones so there is that but let's get rid of the tracker for now and let's introduce you guys to my super sim so this is a willow maximal and her name is supposed to be kind of punny play on words kind of thing willow maximal like she will Max them all, maximal. You guys get it? I hope so. <laughs> um, but that is her name. 
baby willow she is so sweet i think she is adorable and she is starting off as a sunny infant i just wanted to make it so that she had a kind of an easygoing personality i feel like she's gonna have that hopefully throughout the entire series Again, we're starting out as infant, so we need a couple of parents to take care of the infant. So this is Wilhelmina Maximal, and they all have Will names except for um, the grandma here. But this is Wilhelmina, her mom. She is a freegan. She's a loves the outdoors and is a green fiend. So she's kind of more natural. She loves being outside. She loves plants. She loves animals. And she is just more of a the free spirited side of the family. Then we have Will Maximal, her husband. He is self-assured, ambitious, and a bookworm. So he's more of like the straight edge kind of nerdy type bookworm kind of dad, but he's also very self-assured and just like really fun and goofy. And this is where Willow gets her ambition from to become a super sim is from her dad. Now, because we need some family members for the some of the milestones that we need to complete, I am adding a grandma and grandpa into the family. So this is Wendy. She is just your typical cute little Karen grandma who is proper. She loves cats, but she's also a goofball. And then we also have Will Sr. who is a goofball, adventurous, and self-absorbed. Uh, he's just kind of a um, very into himself kind of grandpa, but he's also very adventurous, which is where I think Willow gets it from. Uh, her adventurous side to want to go out and do things is from her grandpa. So this is Will Sr. These are um, Will's parents, the father's parents. Now, they're not going to be living at the house with us. They're going to have their own house, so I will separate them once we put them into the house. Let's jump right in. We have so much to do, you guys, with this challenge, so let's stop talking and let's get to playing. So because I want to start this challenge in the bright, hopefully sunny time when it's not raining, we are going to choose summer, and I believe I'm going to move the family into Willow Creek. Just want to start with a base game world and i actually have a house pre-made for them that we're going to be using uh so i guess i need to get that all squared away so let me do that really quickly okay we are back in action the grandparents are moved out and they actually live right over here uh so i built this house and i also built their starter house let me actually show you guys what this looks like i'm super proud of this house i think it's so cute i love this little detail here how you can kind of peer into the dining room right there and like into the kitchen it is just a, a really fun house probably could do with some more because there's some like bare spots but uh they have like a little back porch and this is just gonna be a nice little starter house in willow creek and then the grandparents live right down the street, which I think is so nice. Okay, let's get this challenge started. It looks like the family is out um, just hanging out out here, I guess. I feel like we should take Willow inside. It looks like what, mom, what are you doing? Oh, oh, we're doing tummy time. Wow, she is, she is already promoting her to be a super sim. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, look at Willow go. Ah. Tommy time outside in the fresh air. Oh, what a beautiful, sunny, but hot, but cloudy day. It's also a new moon outside. What is going on here? Look at Will. Oh no. <laughs> okay, tummy time is super important though. That is how we are going to check off some of the milestones. But first things first, let's go ahead and let's take Willow inside. So we're gonna pick up Willow and then let's put her, I guess we can just put her here. How is she doing on her skills? Oh, also we have some milestones that we need to check off. So, okay, learn to reach is next. Lift head is next from tummy time. Okay, so be born, one of the ones that we got and also first smile, that is amazing. Uh, so we need to check those off. What is this? Christopher, what is happening? Have you been to Black Spire Outpost on Batu yet? I hear it's an adventure of a lifetime. You should go check it out. Sir, we are in the midst of making a super sim. We are not ready for Batu yet. Although Willow is um, going to definitely explore Batu in the future at some point. So what, what what is the family doing? Why are they all just staring at this child? Um, what 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 is happening? Okay, all all of their brains are broken. Let's just let's just pick her up and then 
I was gonna check her stats, but let's go put her down here. My voice is dying, I'm so sorry. How many days do we have? We have 19 days. I believe I'm playing on a long lifespan. Let me actually just check this uh, to make sure. So let's go into my gameplay options here. Yes, long lifespan, just because I wanna have like as much time as I possibly uh, can to accomplish everything and not have to do the reset potions as much as sort of my plan with that. Well, autonomy is good. Auto age unplayed sims. We don't want to do that. I want to keep as many townies as possible, but super quickly, what we are going to do is we are going to pop up the tracker here and we are going to uh, check off some accomplishments. So we have a born on there and the weird thing is uh, we can't do only one because she can't be born at a hospital. She can't be born in, uh, at home or adopted if she was just born and created in cast. So I'm just going to check all those off so it gives us the 100% for those. Um, but technically she was just born and she just got that. So I think the next one we had was learn to smile, right? There was a smiling one somewhere on here first smiled there it is okay did we get anything else acquired the flower arranging skill oh oh okay she's just chopping that's that's good i guess okay willow it is time for you to look at your toys if we have her look at toys this should get us the reach skill so she'll learn to reach and i love that it gives us little pointers and tips let's get rid of the tracker for now until she gets another milestone but yeah, those are our only two. I'm hoping to knock off at least like half of the infant milestones in this episode. I think that would be amazing if we could do that. So how are Willow's needs? She is good. She is good to go. Welcome neighbor. Oh, grandma's visiting. Oh, look at everybody coming over. Okay, let's go meet Eliza and buy pancakes. And of course we already know our grandma or our um, grandparents. So that's fine. Let's do a funny introduction to Eliza. Let's do a funny introduction to Bob. It looks like they brought fruitcake, which honestly, I kind of love to see if the Sims like the fruitcake or not, because sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. It is very interesting whether they decide to actually like the fruitcake or not. Oh no, we have a crying infant rest time from being awake for too long. Why have you been awake for too long? Just look at the toys one more time, please. Man, they're all just hanging out out here. I wish it was more of a sunny day so we could see a little bit better, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, you know what we can do? We can introduce. This is a milestone that we actually have to check off, but we're going to introduce Willow to Bob Pancakes. I think this will be funny. The first person to officially meet Willow will be Bob Pancakes of all people. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, well, Amina, let's do this thing. I love maybe next time. What do you mean maybe next? Oh no, we failed the welcome wagon, and everyone's leaving. I swear. Oh oh oh! It's happening! It's happening! It's happening! Hold on. Oh my goodness. Willow is meeting Bobby. Oh my god! Look how cute this interaction is. I do love it. There we go, Bob. Oh, Bob would be a great dad, I just gotta say. Maybe I don't know actually. What do you guys think? Would Bob Pancakes be a good dad? He looks so smug all the time and so like he's in the worst mood ever oh oh eliza what do you what do you think of this kind of interested maybe okay well that's good i think willow should be getting a milestone for this and i think we just got it yes there it is first visitors so this one is a new face willow had her first encounter meeting someone from outside her household is she going to use the bathroom on bob pancakes because if she does that might be an issue uh oh yeah the wilhelmina likes joke school oh my god if she goes to the bathroom on bob i'm gonna laugh so hard <laughs> oh my god he's like take your child back she's crying i think she's fussy she has to go to the bathroom she's an infant i don't even have one of these things Let's have you do a friendly introduction. Do we even know Bob or did we just hand our child over? Okay, we can share baby photos and stuff like that. All right. He's like, are you tired? <laughs> are, you, are you tired, child? <laughs> 
if we invite them in the house, couldn't he like put her in the crib? I just really want to see if she'll have a blowout on Bob Pancakes. I think that would be so funny for this episode. Oh no, navigating needs. You have started the Navigating Needs Discovery Quest where you'll learn about the Sims needs. Okay, we don't, I've played Sims so many times that I don't know if we really need to do that. This is so funny to me. I don't know why. I don't know if we need this uh, quest going. I'm just gonna cancel it. Is this gonna be the thumbnail of the video? Our super sim <laughs> being held by Bob. Oh, it could be a thing. It really could be. My goodness. Should we adopt Bob? Should he just become a part of our household? <laughs> That would be hilarious. He could be like the Grunkle, the great uncle. <laughs> Grand uncle? What's Grunkle? I only know Grunkle, like Grunkle Stan from Gravity Falls. Willow is a growing infant but must uh, rely on caregivers. Yes, 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 you're tired and she's about to use the <laughs> Eliza, don't get in the way. I think this is um very strange that I'm just sitting here watching. Oh, she's mad. She's like, it is too noisy in here. I just want to just, just Willow go to the bathroom and then we can get you changed and then you can go to sleep. I promise it's going to be okay. She's angry and sad. This is not off to a good start. I promise this is going to be fine, guys. Oh, Bob, 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 where are you taking our child? Oh my God, that was almost scary. He is just a real champ. If we ever need a babysitter... We are calling Bob. Oh, peekaboo. Oh, she hated that. She hated that. Oh, she used the bathroom. Did she have a blowout? She didn't. She didn't have her first blowout. Aw, oh, man. I was hoping we would get a milestone and she would do business on Bob. But all right, all right. Let's take the shot. We don't even know Bob, but they're talking. That doesn't make any sense. Wait, they hate each other? Oh my goodness, the tea. All right, this toddler is grumpy. So we're gonna pick up Willow from Bob and we are going to go take care of all of her needs. So what does she need? She needs energy and food. We could do um, a breastfeed really quick. I think we're gonna have to do it. Bob, stop taking our child places. There we go. Okay, the transition's being made, beautiful. Uh, So let's, like I said, let's do a breastfeed to Willow. He just farted in front of us okay so after we do the breastfeed we need to put willow to sleep she is super super grumpy and then while willow's sleeping i think what i'm gonna do is kind of fast forward through it and just sort of take care of the other family members needs and stuff like that oh another thing i should mention guys is i recently got the the home chef hustle pack I didn't have it before and I have not played with any of this new like a pizza maker and stuff like that. So I'm very happy. Oh, happy spitter quirk revealed. Willow is prone to spitting up during feeding. Infants with a happy spitter quirk are perfectly normal. Their digestive systems are just still maturing. Okay, each infant has three quirks, I guess. Interesting. All right, so Willow's gonna go to sleep. That's gonna be awesome. I am going to take care of the rest of the family's needs. Oh my God, she's making a pizza. Is I really thought that was a fire starting right there. I was like, oh God. Wow, that looks amazing. One of my really good friends has a pizza maker and it is actually so much fun to make pizzas in the pizza maker. It is fantastic. So where, where are we gonna put this pizza? Is this our dinner? Also, I think we can like prep ingredients and stuff like that. I know this isn't based around Willow. The story is going to be mainly based around Willow, the videos and stuff like that. But I do think that this is interesting. Bob's just chilling. He just loves hanging out with his family. Like I said, we can adopt him if we, we really want to. Another quirk revealed, Love's Wake Up Time. Willow is frequently bright and sunny upon waking. Infants with Love's Wake Up Time quirk are more likely to be happy when they wake up. Oh, cute. Doesn't look very happy currently, <laughs> but uh, I think she is. Oh, we just got our first milestone, I think. I think she just had her first blowout. Did we? We did, first blow milestone, yay. Yay is the weird thing to say when a baby is just blown out her diaper and is super angry about it. 
Oh, they're excited. They're like, yay, you did a massive poop for the first time. <laughs> this is what we wanted. <laughs> hey, if we're going to be a super sim, we have to experience every single thing in the game, including blow up diapers and stinky poops. So we need to go give her a bath. And also, ooh, trick for you guys. If you give a bubble bath to an infant as their first bath, it will check off two milestones at once. It will check off the give a bath milestone and the give a bubble bath milestone. It is amazing. All right, well, you know what to do. Give this baby a bath. That's right. Ooh, he does not seem very happy about the blowout situation. Little Willow is getting her first ever bath. This is such a monumental moment in our Super Sim journey. She's so little and so cute. And I just, I can't wait to see what she becomes throughout this series. Like, that's what's so intriguing about the Super Sim Challenge is you just never know what kind of shenanigans and fun things this, this Sim that starts out as nothing gets to experience everything and you just get to come along for the ride and i think it's gonna be so much fun so i do think willow's eyes are a bit glitched out and i think she's just like crying forever so i don't know if i need to restart my game or something but that is definitely uh interesting <laughs> Oh, it looks like Wilhelmina has come in to watch as well. And the bath should be almost completed, I believe. Ah, kind of. We have a little bit to go. She's also hungry and has no energy. So we have to get a couple more milestones before we can actually put her in the, in the high chair. I think this is... Let me see. Try food. Yeah, so we need the sit-up milestone, which I think we're quite a ways away from. But like I said, we are going to try to knock off as many as we can today. So speaking of, let's actually update our tracker here. So we got our first blowout and our first visitor. And like I said, let's pop the tracker back on so that we can update what we've got. So let's see here. We've got the, um, okay, these are all motor. I think they're up here. So first diaper blowout did happen. We got the first bubble bath, first bath, and then we got first visitor. And then I think that is everything so far. Did I miss one? Hopefully not. If not, I will update the tracker again at the end. All right, let's get back to the challenge. Let's have Wilhelmina come and throw this away. And then let's bottle feed Willow here. How can we do this? Okay, I think if we go to baby care and then feed and then bottle feed. It's, it's such a long chain of things to do, but we can do it. It's fine. All right, so then after that, I think we are going to go put Willow down and have her do some more reaching and things like that to kick off some more milestones. Again, we really want to get that sit up one. Okay, here we go on over to the little play mat. This thing is essential if you want to get the infant milestone. So we're going to have her look at toys for a little bit. Oh gosh, she is so grumpy. <gasps> we got it! We got the reach milestone! Yay! That was super quick! Okay, this is actually going relatively well, guys. I am taking pictures of all these because... And we got the coup milestone! Wow, she is cruising. Holy smokes. See, this is what I'm saying, guys. This mat is essential because this is how you get all the milestones. By having her look at toys and play with toys and and reach for things and stuff like that and if you guys are wondering why i'm taking pictures of things if you see me kind of taking pictures of the milestones it's because i have an instagram for willow uh it is willow super sim if you guys would like to give her a follow i'm going to be updating her progress through that through that instagram so you guys can see and then i'll be posting when i upload videos on this challenge as well so over there uh but yeah willow's doing good i think I, i'm trying to have her look at toys but i think what we got to do is do night night time because she is just so grumpy and <laughs> so tired all right so we got coo and reach so learn to reach coo should be uh, up here learn to coo oh look at that progress guys we are doing so good these ones are gonna be probably the harder ones the life ones also survive seven nights in a haunted house we're probably not gonna do because she can do that as an adult oh my gosh she got another quirk Hold on, we need to pause. Willow prefers to rise with the sun. Infants with the early riser quirk are more likely to wake up when the sun comes up. All right, we are putting Willow to bed. She is so tired and she's also hungry. I have been finding it a little hard 
keep up with her needs, but hopefully if we get her to sleep for a little bit, she'll be happy. Looks like everyone in the family's tired, so we might as well just get everybody to go to sleep. I really need to figure out why she is just infinitely crying. That is a little bit concerning, but I think what we're going to do is call this episode here. It is getting a bit long. So really quickly, let's just check and make sure we have all of our milestones checked off. We have all these traits, which is awesome. So today we learned to reach. We started the super sim journey. For the infant stages, we are doing all of the milestones. So learn to reach was pretty easy. First bath, first bubble bath, first diaper blowout, first visitors. We got the life one that she was born, coup, and first smile. Now, I don't think this is half of them. I did want to accomplish at least half of them today, but I kind of forgot that we had to do the whole intro where we like explain the super sim challenge and everything. So that did take up quite a bit of time. So in the next Sims episode, you guys, I'm excited to continue the super sim challenge and see if we can complete some more milestones. There's some really, really good ones that we need to do. Let's actually just take a look really quickly at some, some we can look forward to. So first baby food, finger foods, first vacation, first visit to a family member's house, peed on a caregiver. I was really hoping she was going to pee on Bob, pa Bob pancakes, but um, she didn't, so that's fine. <laughs> Peekaboo, blowing kisses, pincers, claps, all this stuff should be pretty easy in the next couple of episodes. So that'll be fun, and I will catch you guys there. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow Willow's Instagram down below if you guys would like to. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you never miss a Super Sim video. And uh, me and Willow are going to have a long journey together and I'm excited. So I hope you guys come along for that journey. But thank you. Have a very beautiful, wonderful day. And I will catch you guys in the next episode.